Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna show you how to transform this old toy chest into something much better. So we're gonna go from this to this. Before we get started, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell so you don't miss any notifications from me. This is the before of my chest. As you can see, it has lots of stickers, lots of scratches. The wood is just a mess. So we're gonna fix it up and give it some nice cool wallpaper inside. So here are a list of supplies that you're gonna need to get started. If you don't have an electric sander, sandpaper is fine too. I did not end up needing the painter's tape and the foam rollers for the top coat, but I'll leave a full supply list in the description box. So I'm gonna start by removing the existing hardware by using a screwdriver to remove the screws. I used 80 grit to sand my chest down, but I probably should have used 100 to 120 grit so I wouldn't have such a rough finish. I tried not to spend um, too much time on one spot or apply too much pressure on one spot so I get an even finish. Please make sure you guys are wearing a mask. Um, this stuff can get everywhere. For the spindles, I used a piece of sandpaper to be able to get in between the spindles and sand it down. Now I'm gonna take some wood filler and just fill in the big imperfections in the wood. I'm gonna let this dry and when it changes colors, I can then sand it down with a finer sandpaper. Now I'm just going to nail in some loose screws to kind of close the gap right here. Now I'm just going to clean up the dust from sanding using my vacuum cleaner and then I'll go through with my tack cloth and get up the remaining dust. I'm gonna start by putting on my first coat of white paint. I use Valspar cabinet and furniture paint with a satin finish. This paint says no priming or sanding needed, so I'm going to apply the first coat without primer and see how it turns out. When you get to the spindles, try not to use too much paint so that you don't have a lot running down. Make sure you get in between the spindles using as least amount of paint as possible. Don't try to cake on too much paint, just try and get a nice even first coat. I don't have any specific technique for this part, I'm just trying to get the first coat on. This is the first coat completed, so I'm gonna let this dry for at least four hours and then I'm gonna work on the second coat. For the second coat, I'm going to use my roller brush so I can get a nice even coat. Make sure you have enough paint on the roller brush so you don't get blotches like I was getting. So this is the second coat completed. Now I'm going to start working on my third and final coat. I'm gonna start by touching up the spindles, just making sure there are no bare spots. After I started this, I realized that it would be much easier just to use white spray paint on the spindles and touch up in between the spindles where I wasn't able to use the paintbrush. If you're gonna use spray paint to touch up the spindles, please make sure that you do not spray close to the spindle or you're gonna get a lot of paint. Before I applied my final coat, I realized that there were still some gaps in the wood that I didn't like. So I used white caulk to fill them in. Now I'm just gonna wipe off the excess with a damp cloth. Make sure your paint is dry from your second coat before doing this. Now I'm just gonna go around and fill in everything just like I did the back. Now I'm gonna let this dry and finish up my last coat with the white paint. Stay tuned, this will just take a second. I like to use my roller brush last to kind of just even out everything. So now I'm just gonna take my ruler and measure the chest so I can start to cut my wallpaper. Cut your wallpaper a few inches longer than what you need just so you have a little room for error. After I've cut my wallpaper to the length that I need, I'm going to wet the back to activate the paste. 
and then I'm going to place the whole thing directly into my chest. I would start with the side and then work my way in. So this is the piece that I've already cut for the other side of the chest. I've already activated the paste by wetting the inside. Now I'm going to apply to the inside of my chest. I'm going to smooth this out with a ruler and then I'm going to move on to the next larger piece. My last piece of pre-pasted wallpaper is ready to go. So now I'm just going to reposition the wallpaper so that I can easily just drop it inside the chest. Before I even cut this wallpaper, I made sure that the patterns would line up. I'm just gonna have my husband drill some new holes for our new gold brackets. Now we're going to apply our top coat. I decided to go with polycrylic versus polyurethane because I read that polycrylic was better for indoor furniture. I'm going to mix my polycrylic really well and I'm going to use a brush versus a foam roller because it was just a better application for me. Now I'm just going to apply a very thin first coat of polycrylic and then I'm going to let that dry for at least two hours before I start on the next coat. Make sure you don't apply this stuff with the top clothes because it will dry and stick together. I waited for two hours and then I applied the next coat. I also added a acrylic handle to the chest. So this is the final product. I am all done. I've done three coats of white paint and two coats of top coat and wallpaper liner inside. So we went from this to this and we were able to keep that old chest around and save some money. So that's it for me. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell so you don't miss any notifications from me. Remember, DIY everything.